Now, to avoid any confusion, this is a hang glider. Uh, going back to the 60s design, uh, a heavy, fast-flying wing with a rigid uh, aluminium frame. Uh, that's not what we're talking about tonight. We're talking about paragliding, which was invented in, in the late 70s. Uh, a light, flexible wing that folds up into a rucksack on your back. Uh, and so you climb up the mountain, lay it out, and fly away. 14, 15, 16. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we launch. This is Kalini Hill. You see the, the open vents at the leading edge of the wing? You inflate that in the breeze, lift it over your head, get it flying, and then turn and run off the cliff. The cliff is behind uh, Gavin at that stage. So it's flying before you leave the cliff. You're not jumping off the cliff. So this is the view of Kalini Head from the air. Um, and you can see the viewing point down at the left, and the cliff on the right in front of the obelisk is where we take off. It's a wonderful sight. We fly with permission from uh, Dublin Airport Air Traffic Control. Uh, that's uh, Owen. He has just taken off, and he's trying to get dynamic lift off the, the cliff face. Uh, the wind blows onto the cliff and lifts us up when we take off. So as soon as we fly out, if we time it properly, we immediately go up. So you can fly for hours if you want to. In fact, it gets boring. You can, see, you can see the structure of the wing there, where there's, um, say, up to 32 Dyneema lines. Each line is a braking strain of 180 kilos. Uh, so it's relatively secure from that point of view. And Owen is there showing me that he can fly higher than I can. And here we are looking from oh, in the air over Kalani up towards Dawkey Island. We can fly up to the island practically and back down to Shank Hill and still land on top of Kalani Hill. Or if the wind drops, we can land down on, on the beach beneath us. And you can see the flash popped there to light my boots. So Owen is coming into land at that stage. Now he's too high. That's the peak of the obelisk there. So he'll just go out and turn around, lose altitude, come in uh, and land. We always take off and land by flying into the wind. It's absolutely crucial. Every aircraft does that. Uh, this is Mount Leinster. My friend Adam is scratching. Scratching in our language means flying very close to the terrain. And when that happens, the wind is very light. It's not keeping you up. And if he has to slope land there, he has, he has to pack up his wing and climb back up through those rocks and sheep and everything to take off again. That's Kurt, my friend in, in Austria. That's the dog's tail that you're looking at, I might point out. <laughs> and Zena gets very excited if anyone else takes off before herself and Kurt. He's a lovely man. We had a great time. We were flying at a place called Gerlitzen, that's the mountain on the left. So we fly around the top of the mountain. We're restricted to 7,500 feet by local airspace. And then we come out, out over the lake uh, and land in those green fields uh, just beneath my boots. 15, 16. <laughs> this is Ankle Island. You can see the antennae on top of Minoan Heights. Beautiful Keem Beach in front of us. Uh, and like many birds, the, the hundred or so Irish hang gliders and paragliders, many of us migrate there every uh, June bank holiday weekend. It's a fabulous sight. Um, so you can see, you get a good feel for the structure of, of my wing at that stage. It's 31 mil, uh, meters wide. Uh, sorry, it's 13 meters wide, 31 square meters in area. Uh, its flying speed is 38 kilometers. It can fly as fast as 53 kilometers. That's Duiga on Akel. So I flew from Minon four kilometers out there to get that picture. That's Clare Island in the distance, and then flew back to land back on the top of Minon Heights. It's one of the most beautiful places in Ireland to fly. And that's landing at Hackle, so that's landing on Keem Beach. So you come fairly high off the mountain, you fly around to lose altitude, and then land at the beach. There's a, a hippie encampment of surfers in there and left. Um, landing in the sea is always, practically always fatal. It's a no-no. That's last month in Andalusia in Ronda La Vieja. Um, so we're, we're soaring around there waiting to catch thermals. Thermals are invisible columns of hot air that get us up to cloud base, typically four, five, six, seven thousand 7,000 feet. Getting to cloud base is, is what it's all about. Now there I'm at cloud base. Uh, that's Montiano in Andalusia last week as well, uh, last month as well. You can see I'm near the level of the bottom of the clouds. That was at 6,000 feet. And the, the trick is to go cross country, XC. So as soon as you get high, I'm halfway into the flight there. Um, you, you pick a cloud, get to it, and fly downwind. So you're dropping all the time. You find another cloud, go up to it, and do the same again. So I flew 31 kilometers that day, nearly a personal best. The world record, believe it or not, is 500 kilometers. That's Loch Bray, uh, Kipur in the Dublin Mountains, spectacular place. Uh, so that's what paragliding is all about, flying with your friends in the solitude of the countryside. It's, it's just beautiful. And the next pick is a wide-angle wide shot of the lake. Um, we're, really, we're at one with nature. That's really what is the, the magic of paragliding. I'll be around afterwards if anyone has any questions. And thanks for listening. <laughs>